In this video, I will continue the section 1.3 where we left off in class with example 3. So here it says, determine a region of the xy plane for which the given DE would have a unique solution whose graph passes through a point x0, y0 in the region. Okay, And this is the differential equation that they gave us. Now what you want to do is you want to get this equation in terms of your prime on the left hand side and then a function with respect to the variables without primes. Okay. Um, as soon as you can get it into this form, you can take a partial derivative. You can't take the actual derivative since you have the two unknowns and this problem has not been solved for, so you don't know what y is. Okay. So you can't exactly take a direct um, derivative, but you can take a partial derivative. And normally your partial derivative should be with respect to the variable that has the prime here. So whatever variable is here, that's what you're going to take the partial derivative of. So this is my equation that I start off with. And if I solve for the y prime, it's the only problem, the only variable in here that has a prime. So if I solve for y prime, I would have to divide both sides by 4 minus y squared. And if I did that, this would cancel and I'd have y prime by itself. And on this side, there's really no need, no coefficient and no exponent in the denominator. So I don't need the parentheses in the denominator. However, the nothing will reduce because this is an x squared and this is a binomial with a y squared. So what we do is we let this be the function that we were talking about over here. Okay? So I made the statement as let f of x, y, because those are the two variables that I have here, um, equal what I've got on the right hand side. Then because my have y prime here, I'm going to go ahead and take the partial derivative with respect to y, which means that any term with an x in it is treated as a constant. So this guy right here will be treated as a constant when I'm taking the derivative with respect to y. So I did the quotient rule because this is a fraction, so I did low d high, but remember, if I'm taking the derivative with respect to y, this is acting like a constant, and the derivative of a constant is zero. Minus high d low. Again, derivative of a very straightforward constant is zero, and the derivative of negative y squared is negative 2y. All over the denominator squared. Okay, so low d high minus high d low over low squared. So then zero times anything is just going to be a big zero. So it's as if this term is not even there because it's just a zero. And when I distribute or multiply negative x squared and negative 2y, I end up with a positive 2x squared y. And in the bottom, there's nothing to compute, it just stays this way. So now, in order for me to find the region in the xy plane, I want to find the domain of this partial derivative. Okay, That will help me to narrow down my um, region. So this is just my notation of my domain of the partial derivative. Well, this is only undefined when the denominator equals 0. So I took my denominator and I said it cannot equal 0 which means that if I take the square root of both sides, the square root will undo the square, leaving me with just the radicand, 4 minus y squared, and the square root of 0 is still just 0. Then what I did was I added y squared to both sides, and so that would cancel these here and give me 4 on the left hand side, and it would give me y squared on the right hand side. Then I went ahead and I took the square root of both sides to solve for y. The square root of y squared, again, these undo each other, I get y. And the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2, because positive 2 squared is 4 and negative 2 squared is 4. So I have two things that y cannot be. So then the interval that I found, or the region, same thing, 
is when y is in this interval. So this interval pertains to the y value, not the x value. And I get these three intervals, which can be translated into y is less than negative 2, y is between negative 2 and positive 2, and y is greater than positive 2. And so these are the regions of the xy plane that we can talk about this differential equation. Okay. With that, you should be able to look at problem, um, I believe it was problem 19 and 22, but let me verify. Um, yes, 19 and 22 are within that same section with the same um, uh, directions. So for both of those problems, you want to get the y prime by itself because whether I'm given y prime or dy dx, that is still y prime, right? So you want to get the dy dx on the left hand side and this will be the function you take the partial derivative of with respect to y. Or if you have y prime in your de, then get the y prime by itself and whatever you end up with over here will be what you take the partial derivative of. And since this is the um, dependent variable y, or the dependent variable y, you need to be taking the partial derivative with respect to y. Okay. Hopefully that will give you some guidance as you go through the homework problems for um, section 1.2. So this is 1.2 homework problems.